Hey, good morning. We're at Charleston International Airport this morning to talk about common prohibited items brought to the checkpoint. Uh, things that you should not put in your carry-on bag, but in the most uh, in most cases will be fine in your check bag. Uh, reason we're doing this is we want to inform passengers uh, on what is and isn't allowed because that helps speed things up at the checkpoint. Uh, when we have to stop and take a look at a bag uh, a second or third time because of a pocket knife or an oversized liquid, obviously that's going to slow things down um, in, inside the checkpoint. So do a quick five minute check before you come to the airport to make sure you don't have those oversized liquids, those knives, those tools. Uh, put them in a check bag and then you'll make sure that uh, you're, you're going to get through as quickly as possible through the checkpoint. As we get into holiday travel season, you're going to need to expect more travelers traveling with you. Uh, we do see increased volume over the holidays. Um, so we are asking passengers to get to the airport two hours prior to their scheduled departure time. And that's going to give them enough time to get through the ticketing and baggage check process through security and onto their gate for, uh, for their regular departure. Uh, as you get into the, the winter season as well, you also need to keep an eye on, uh, on delays that may affect uh, your, your travel itinerary. Make sure that you're tracking your flight all the way up to its departure time. One, one other thing that we're seeing a major increase in is the number of guns coming to checkpoints, uh, not only here in Charleston, but nationwide. Um, if you want to take your firearm with you when you travel, you need to make sure that you pack it uh, the, the way that it's outlined on the TSA website, that's at www.tsa.gov. Uh, bottom line is it needs to be in a hard-sided case with padding, uh, locked, the firearm needs to be unloaded and declared to the airline that you're flying on. If you follow all of those steps and you leave that case with the airline ticket counter, you're going to be perfectly fine. If you bring those to the checkpoint, you're going to be subject to uh, criminal action from local law enforcement. Uh, that could be a citation or arrest. But you're also going to get a civil penalty from TSA, and that can go up to a maximum of $13,000 uh, on the first offense. So a very costly mistake for forgetting to take those guns out of your bag. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, uh, because a lot more people are carrying firearms now, is if you have a range bag, do not multipurpose it for travel. Make sure you have two separate bags. Yeah, we, we, in a lot of uh, cases, we'll find uh, a duffel bag that may not have a firearm in it, but will have loose ammunition in it. And that's because somebody had used it to go to the range, uh, taken the firearm out, but forgotten to take the ammunition out. So keep two separate bags, another tip from TSA, uh, just uh, to make sure you don't have any firearms or loose ammunition. That's one way that'll take that out of the equation. As we get into the holiday season, a lot, a lot of folks like to travel with gifts and food. Uh, one thing we ask when you're traveling through the security checkpoint is to not wrap your gifts uh, before you come, uh, before you depart your airport. Um, if you do that, uh, we may have to open it uh, to do a secondary screening. So our tip to, to travelers is to use gift bags. Uh, that way it'll give us an easy way to, to take a look at the item if we have to take a second look. Uh, food is another thing that, that comes to the checkpoint quite a bit uh, around the holidays. Uh, most solid foods are going to be okay if you're taking turkey or, uh, or pies, uh, those are going to be fine. Salads are okay as well. Uh, it's the liquids that you need to keep an eye out for. Anything that is uh, pourable or spreadable uh, it could possibly uh, be prohibited through the checkpoint. So if you have questions about a specific food item, you can always go to the TSA website uh, and use the Can I Bring My tool. If you're on Twitter, you can also send us a tweet uh, at AskTSA. Uh, you can take a photo even of the, fo of the item that you have a question about, and they'll uh, get back to you within a half hour on if it's allowed in a carry-on bag or if it needs to go into a check bag uh, or if it's not allowed on an aircraft at all.